Hi everybody, I'm Phil with LS2 Helmets and this is a two minute explanation of Kinetic Polymer Alloy, KPA, a new helmet shell material developed in the labs of LS2 Helmets in Barcelona, Spain. We're going to compare it to what we would call tra traditional composites, things like carbon fiber, Kevlar, fiberglass, items that through my career have always been considered to be the, the best possible materials to make a helmet out of. And I'm going to tell you, in my 40 years in the motorcycle industry, I have never seen a material prior to KPA that I thought might just rival and surpass these other blends. Now before we're done, I'm going to explain to you what a cup of coffee and a roll of duct tape have to do with KPA. But to begin with, let's just talk about the basic foundation of KPA. This is a, an LS2 Metro and the shell is made from KPA. It, it is a product that uses nanotechnology. Nanotechnology basically takes threads and crushes them and stretches them and shrinks them to the point where they're about a billionth of an inch. So where here you have weaves of thread that you might have thousands in a square inch or tens of thousands, now we've got billions of that same weave for every square inch that you see here. Plus it's in a polymer, which I'm going to explain in just a moment. But the basic uh, capability of the KPA are that it's got some built-in flexibility to assist with energy management. It has penetration resistance that rivals even the best of the best of traditional composites, and it's lightweight. Not only that, it's much more precise, and you can build uh, products that are, are more beautiful and more functional out of KPA than you can out of traditional composites. So, let's start with this. What's coffee got to do with it? This is a cup of coffee with some cream in it. Which part's coffee and which part's cream? If you want to know, you're going to have to go to the molecular level, right? Same with KPA. Which part's thread? Which part's polymer? It's essentially the same thing. What about duct tape? Well, you might remember in the 70s, Kenny Roberts started dragging his knee when he was going around uh, road racing tracks. It's become the common way, but it wasn't then. He used duct tape on his leathers so that his leathers would slide. As they started to develop the technology, and as technology progressed, they started making knee sliders. Did they make them out of fiber products? Nope, they made them out of polymers. Why? Because polymers slide. So by having a polymer shell, you, you have the potential that when the helmet, if it ever meets the road, it will slide and not grip and tear. We don't want that sudden stop and jerks because what it does is it it develops increased rotational energy. And as we know, we're all trying to figure out ways to manage that. If you can start with it on the outer shell, you've dramatically reduced what you might have to manage with an internal mechanism. So once again, Kinetic Polymer Alloy, KPA, an exclusive for LS2 helmets.